What's up guys? So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a new table in your Airtable database. Now this can be through many methods such as uploading a file and figure out, having Airtable figure out those field types, copying and pasting data, just creating a new table just from scratch, as well as some other ways to do it. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you help them optimize their information system. So stuff like Airtable for asset management, Asana for project management, Slack for communications, and many more like Zapier for automations as well. If you're interested in that, you can request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so now as you can see in here, we are in our sales CRM database and we already have a few tables up here. This is how you tell what a table is. You can see we have an opportunities table, an interactions table, accounts, contacts, tasks, and requests. And so, whereas in Excel, you might see them along the bottom down here. These are actually gonna be like summary fields or summary like cells, if you will, where it'll summarize the data, like how many are empty. For this one, if it has numbers in it, so if we go to maybe a different table, we can maybe sum up the account values in here with something like this, like we have the average here, or if we wanna sum them that's where the tables are in Excel, but in Airtable, all the tables are up here at the top. And what's unique about the Airtable tables is you can link them all up with linked records, but to show you how to add a table, there's three ways. So you first have to come up here and click this plus right here, and you can create an empty table, you can create a sync table, or you can import data. Now there's a number of ways to import data, and Airtable is getting better and better at their learning for learning what is in like a Microsoft Excel file, like what are the different field types. And if you want to really make that just like the same as some of your other tables, you can use like Microsoft Excel. Now I'll show you how to like essentially duplicate a table from another base here in a second. But for this, you can use any of these to create your new table as well as just maybe start from scratch. So if you create an empty table, it will just give you these four basic fields. So this will be a new table. And so maybe you want to add this into a new base. So let's pretend that this table is in a different base than this table over here, these accounts. There are maybe one with a few less. Actually, we can just do this. So even if we just want these first few records, we can pretend that this is the database that we want to be making. And so if we copy these, so I highlighted these and maybe we just want these first five fields. I copy these, so Command C, and then go to the new table and press Command V. Now if we expand this table so that the pasted cells will fit, it should convert these into their respective field types and it should have added all of those. So if you were wanting to like duplicate a table from, not do the sync table, but really just copy and paste that data, you can use a tool just like copy and paste. It's just as simple as that. Automatically knows what field type you're in. And I would imagine it's similar to if you imported data and you paste table data. It's already gonna know, it's gonna actually be preferable. Now the only thing I've noticed that doesn't always change are these up here. See like this still says attachments, this still says notes, this still says name, which are the standard values in there. And obviously it looks like this one also didn't get quite the right thing in here because it kept this single select and it's still example.com. So maybe you might want to still change this to just a, a simple URL. So it's not perfect, I recognize that. It's not like as perfect as if you just duplicated the table maybe, but it is better with some of the stuff like there's only three values essentially in here, but it knew to pull all of these from that copy and paste. So. I encourage you to play around with this. If you're curious, other ways to make a new table, throw them in the comments if you have specific questions about like how to copy and paste data, how to make the table format the same from one table to the next. I'd love to hear that in the comments. I can make another video and show you how to do whatever you want to do. And if you are curious, maybe you already have your table and you want to add a way to get Airtable data in here, maybe using an Airtable form, you can actually check out this video right here in the end screen and you can learn all about how to use Airtable forms and it'll really give you just that basic info on how to use conditional fields, how to use how to hide fields, how to make fields only show up under certain conditions like 
with like linked records and such. So it's really going to be very beneficial. Just, just go click that end screen right there and you'll learn how to do that with the, with our table form. So without further ado, have a great day and go click that end screen right there and I'll see you there.